Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error. I know it's been a while. I've been really, really busy though. I did a ton of work on the house, uh, built a new deck, and that took probably longer than it should have, but the weather was horrible. So we did a few projects here. First one is uh, this diving board wrapped in stone. Replaced the diving board as well because the old one was pretty rotted. Uh, we've got two planters on here with uh, irrigation lines going to them. <laughs> My wife doesn't have to water any of the plants, which is nice. So that came out nice, but it's hiding its most coolest feature. Wait for it. So I set up two 24 inch spillways and they're lighted with RGB. They look really cool at night. I don't know, you can kind of see them a little bit lit up right now, but it's obviously still kind of sunny out. Uh, but it came out really cool, I love it. Um, the next thing I did was build this deck. Uh, so had a little bit of extra, um, what the hell is this stuff called? I don't know, pavers left over. Uh, I had done this pool deck uh, about 10 years ago and uh, that's held up really well. Um, so I extended it, added a little loop-de-loop -loop there, and uh, trexed up the deck, which I'm pretty happy with. Came out nice. Pain in the ass, let me tell you. A lot of work, a uh, lot of work. So you get this thing all built, and you know, from pouring the, uh, the things, you know, Jesus, it sound like Biden. From pouring the things to getting everything uh, lined up. I'm waiting on some bar stools that are gonna end up going here. It's got a little bar area kind of overlooking the pool, which is nice. And um, just got this grill, waiting on one more piece. We've got another corner piece coming to go on this side, um, but it's got the refrigerator in it. Um, it's the medallion charboil, pretty nice. And um, yeah, that's about that. What else did I do? Oh, new door hardware, replaced all of the wood with, uh, you know, the plastic crap, Azac. And uh, don't have to worry about any maintenance there, which is really good. So, needless to say, this is why I haven't uploaded any videos. I've been kind of, kind of busy. Um, so I'm trying to get back to, uh, we'll get some regular video content going again. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was show you what I believe is by far the cheapest quick attach pallet forks for bobcats, tractors, skid steers, whatever, that you can possibly make. So Viver sells a million things that I love. It's kind of like the online Harbor Freight, except cheaper. Um, and the quality's awesome. So they sell a blank uh, skid, skid steer style quick attach plate, and they also sell these clamp-on bucket arms. I don't know if I can get one of these out of here easily. Nope. Um, but we'll take a look at those as well. So my thought was we're going to take those clamp on pallet forks, which are extraordinarily inexpensive, and then we can weld it to the blank plate with the quick attach on it. And we have a quick attach set of pallet forks for like, I don't even know what the math is. I don't remember how much I paid, but maybe 300 bucks. The cheapest ones you're going to find, you know, for a 2000 pound rated set of quick attach pallet forks. It's about a thousand bucks. If you want 4,000 pounds, you're probably in the $1,500 range. So this is not a little cheaper. It is way cheaper than anything else on the market. Um, and you really, all you need is a welder, but I bet you could also bolt this in if you didn't have access to a welder. So we're gonna get this assembled, hopefully pretty quickly and uh, put it to work. So this is the quick attach bucket. So we're basically gonna pull these guys up it releases the locking pins. And then essentially this bucket will just tip right off. don't know how they even sell this this cheap this is all quarter inch nicely welded um, I just 
the metal alone is worth, like you couldn't buy that much in quarter inch plate for that price that they asked for it. But it's nicely bent. As you saw, it clicks right in and engages nice. The pins engage nice with it to uh, lock on securely. Great plate. Giving it its first real test here. So there's about a thousand to maybe 1200 pounds worth of steel on those forks right now. And it has no problem doing that. I ended up picking up uh, my lawnmower, ended up picking up a whole bunch of different stuff around the yard and uh, had no issues at all. And I, again, I don't know of any cheaper way you could possibly make a quick attached set of forks than this. Um, so really happy with it. I think, you know, with a welder, obviously you can really do a nice job if you had to bolt it i think you could you just cut off the tail end of it but leave the upright portion that would normally uh, kind of go into the bucket leave that in place and then you just bolt that thing right into the plate and you'd be okay but obviously with a welder much more secure setup but either way uh you can't go wrong for that for that price so we're gonna get it all painted up kubota orange will make it look pretty uh, and uh, I will continue to put this thing through some heavy use. Uh, great extension too. I can go way up with this. It's nice having a little bit larger track here because uh, lifting stuff you know, up onto the roof is, is great. Um, but with that said, as always, any questions, concerns, comments, and or criticisms, throw them down in the comment section below me. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching.